the idea of the festival Biennale Venice uh, 2010 this year is um, connected with uh, Don Giovanni. It might seem uh, strange that the contemporary music festival uses this name, which means uh, something which has been written 200 years ago, more than two centuries ago. But instead, this is a very contemporary myth. It's a very important and actual myth, which is uh, much closer than we might think to our daily situation. And it's a situation in which um, the idea of uh, dissipation, something which is uh, like the human destiny, the single man destiny, uh, is taking over any other uh, imagine of the sacred, of something which can remain. So the dissipation of the experience is completely opposed uh, to the permanence. Permanence uh, is a kind of challenge, is a kind of bet that the Western culture did many, many years ago, many centuries ago, uh, to preserve the experience. To preserve the experience on the paper, uh, it's a typical feature of <coughs> the Western culture. So, uh, it's, on one side is a wonder, on the other side, of course, the risk is that we think that uh, everything is possible to be described with this thing. But uh, in fact, what Don Giovanni and this myth is telling us, and what we are living, experiences every day, is the fact that you cannot describe everything. You cannot fix on paper every experience. And this is part of the human condition. And Mozart seems to, be, uh, to, to have a lot of fun um, describing the situation, which is a big contradiction uh, among uh, uh, many different things, but especially between what is uh, alive uh, with blood in his uh, veins and what is not. And it's rock, it's just stone. So the stone man, the title is Don Giovanni and the Stone Man, which is a verse of uh, Da Ponte from the libretto of Don Giovanni. The, the fundamental idea of the festival is this, this, f this fight between something which is uh, uh, somehow not uh, repeatable and something which uh, we, uh, we take the challenge of uh, uh, put on, on paper and give it to the next century, to the future. So is it possible? This is a kind of bet that the whole uh, Western culture did. It's a challenge. So again, we uh, are talking about uh, an oral or improvisational uh, attitude uh, opposed uh, to uh, uh, the work of art, the artwork which is uh, there forever and, and written down. We know that a lot of other cultures don't have this process of writing. It's, uh, they are only, like in Africa, they are only oral uh, cultures and they transmit their knowledge through real people, I mean living persons. There is a wonderful uh, sentence uh, by an African poet who says, every time an old man dies in Africa, it's like a bibliotheque burning. 